the driverless bus runs as a trial by the RAC along the South Perth Esplanade. Glenn is a motor mechanic, so he's sceptical about this technology, but I twisted his arm to come along on the trial. Well, not sure what to expect, but here we go. Our RAC host gave us a full explanation of how everything was programmed and how it worked. Um, and you can see these yellow lines, they're the 16 LiDARs and the 3D LiDAR on the roof. Yeah. Um, that are fanned out to a three dimensional picture, the shape of things. This speed hump and pinch point, as we call it, has always been here. So we program the bus to be spot the the bus turns around at the Perth Old Mill and you can get off here if you like. It's a very scenic drive along the Perth Esplanade with lots of sculptures along the way. It was a really odd feeling sitting in what would be the driver's seat but facing the opposite way. I had to turn around to get this footage. It's really weird. We drive past the ferry terminal that takes you into the city. Bus isn't going to behave like a driver, it's not going to drink drive or drive tired or be yeah, yeah. or distracted. So the potential is that it's safer, however, there's only one of them on the road and everyone yeah. else has been driven by drivers. But yeah. imagine if um, if all of these vehicles on here were autonomous, yeah. all programmed to do the same thing the same way and talking to Talk each to other, other. Yeah. that's the potential for the future. However, to transition from one of them on the road to 100,000 is going to be long Take time. And, um, and a lot of it is changing legislation. Well, we did it and we are convinced that this is a sign of the future, although it's an awful long way off.